when your console friend comes over just get your ps4 controller get that micro usb cable if he doesn't want to use his glorious mouse and keyboard then let him be just give him his controller let's show you how to do it get your micro sd card or your micro usb plug it in your computer don't be dumb it goes in one way and then plug it into the controller and i'll show you what to do on board once you actually get onto the screen yeah just plug it in Duh. Okay guys, so this is basically how you do it. So basically you wanna to go to the first link in my description there. Just, it's gonna lead you to this website. So all the credit goes to ds4windows.com. I'm not sponsored by them, but this is just the website I use to get the file. I wouldn't really do it. If you're a different language here, go languages and everything, you know, you know. but all for just for this video, click on download now, and then click on the first link. Don't worry about everything else. Just go to the very top, very first one right here, ds4windows zip. It shouldn't take a long download based on your Wi-Fi, but it's actually a very, very small file, just under a me uh, megabyte. Drag it to your desktop, and you will need Rinwar, but so I'll leave a uh, link for that in the description below. And if it, if I forget to leave the description, just go to the Rinwar the website and then just download it. But I probably won't. Click Extract to DS4 Windows. Okay. Now, if you have two monitors, it's going to um, extract to your main one, just like it did with mine right now. Um, so basically the folder's going like this. Now, once you do install and do everything fine, you can delete this Renoir folder, you don't really need that. But this you can, ha as long as you have this folder. First thing you wanna do is plug in your controller, like I did now, and then click on DS4 Updater. This should pop up. And DS4 is up to date, so you should be good. If you downloaded the first one, you should be good. And then just click Open DS4W. Okay, now save it to whoever you wanna um, save it to. But I prefer to save it to program folder. And if you hear the noise, um, like the Windows noise, boom, the controller is now connected. Now what you can actually do from here is you can have different profiles for different controllers. So if you have a different game you're playing and you want to save the preset to that specific game, boom, you just save the settings right here. So, um, auto profile settings, login, all that stuff. Um, dates, you know, all that stuff, controller. Now there is ways to do this through um, Bluetooth, but my computer does not have Bluetooth, so I cannot demonstrate this. I'll probably get a Bluetooth card to, dem to demonstrate this. Sorry for the stutter, I'm not very good at these. So if you click on edit, boom, you have a, a crap ton of controls. Special actions, controller readings. So if you move the um, left stick or right stick, boom, it can auto, it can like detect it. You can draw a picture like this if you really wanted to. So boom, you got that. So you can control which one's more sensitive, which one's less sensitive, you know, all that stuff. So if you go to controls, you can obviously, which is basically my favorite part of this, is you can actually control the lights and like make it any color. Now, if you don't want to deal with all this crap up here, just click on this and boom, you got all the color options, or at least most of the color options that you can possibly even think of and press okay. And boom, wait, what the hell? Uh, okay, so I guess for the color change, you go to normal and you click on something. I don't know guys, you have to like basically mess with it until you get the right color. So if you want the syrup green, syrup red, but to be honest, my favorite is red or um, blue. And actually, to be honest, the hot pink looks really well on the controller as well. So mess around with it for yourself. Don't worry, if you if you mess up on some of the keys, you can just exit out of this and make a new um, profile, or I think it'll actually just work if you unplug and plug back in, and it'll go back to normal, to blue. So just in case you messed it up, you can, you can go back to um, all the normal settings. Or if you want to save the settings, you just click save profile, and then boom has that profile saved for that controller just make sure to select it every time you plug it in all right now we're basically done for this tutorial so let's go to the ending screen or something like there's something like that sorry for my language hope you guys enjoyed the video so if you're a console user out there booms videos for you so make sure to subscribe if you're a console user or a pc user it doesn't really matter um obviously i will try to get a hold of an xbox controller Probably borrow from my friend to see if I could do also that tutorial for you guys. So this is mostly like a quick um, tutorial. So if you like these quick tutorials, please let me know. Um, I'll probably do more of these anyways. And subscribe so you can you guys can obviously see more of those tutorials. I don't have a good outro. Just subscribe. That's all you need, really need to do.